okay to do uh, do the process on that input then only it will give the output right so this time is known as propagation delay time next is setup time hold time you know that one what is that minimum time our input must be stable before the occurrence of active edge of the clock right that is setup and the hold is after the active edge of the clock then skew you know right what is skew the difference in the clock arrival time of source and destination props uh you told about setup and hold time that it right. our input should be constant before the edge for some time yeah right so that uh, setup and hold time is clock dependent yeah clock dependent yeah okay so it will be constant for every clock right okay then meta stability you know when uh, the meta stability issue will come into the picture if there is any violation in setup time or hold time then our circuit will enters into the meta stability state and skew meta stable state is nothing but the state which is in between the two stable states right what are all the two stable states in digital design logic 0 and logic 1 okay so this is uh, the brief about uh, this sta basics okay now we'll discuss uh, the detailed explanations and examples of this sub topics okay shall we start first propagation delay a signal path is the electrical path from a particular input signal to a particular output signal of a logic element the propagation delay is uh, denoted uh, denote by uh, tp okay a signal path is the amount of time that it takes for a change in the input signal to produce a change in the output signal i think uh, this uh, definition is somewhat uh, clear right again i will going to read that one the propagation delay tp of a signal path is the amount of time that it takes for a change in the input signal to to produce the change in the output signal how this propagation del uh, delay will be denoted by tp okay this uh, do you have any worries okay in that we are having three types of propagation delay maximum propagation delay typical propagation delay then minimum propagation delay okay now we will going to see the definitions for these three kinds of propagation delay in general in digital design if you take uh, any uh, libraries for any component they will define what is the minimum propagation delay this circuit uh, this component will have what is the maximum and typical okay so what is that maximum propagation delay means this is a, this is a one that is most used by experienced designers because a path never has a propagation delay longer than the maximum a maximum propagation delay it can take if you consider one uh, component for example uh, and gate okay so in that and gate if you are applying input okay if you are applying input it will take suppose for example it will take 1 uh, nanoseconds to propagate uh, in that uh, gate okay okay yeah so they will define all those uh, you if you go take uh, any circuit they will define some tolerance right this is my uh, not gate i am applying the input at the time of t is equal to 0 as 1 this is the input right okay then output definitely i will get the output after some time right before uh, up to that this is a valid output right so from uh, this time to this time is known as tp propagation delay you getting your input is 1 here uh, we have uh, taken uh, the not gate as a example as an example okay so you are applying input at t is equal to 0 but you are getting the output at t is equal to 1 nanosecond 
one time units you take in that way okay one time unit so this delay is known as propagation delay generally for every component they will define max propagation delay min and for example max will take 1.1 nanosecond min will take 0.9 nanosecond okay typically it will take 1 nanosecond like that so they will define all these three values max min typical okay getting and uh, here if you look at that uh, first point uh, most experienced designers will use the maximum delay because it is always good to go with the worst case analysis right if your circuit design satisfies the worst case analysis then it uh, means that uh, definitely it will going to work in all situations right uh, yeah next uh, typical propagation delay okay most often used by designers who don't expect to be around when uh, their product leaves a friendly environment of engineering lab and is shipped to customers a typical delay is what you see from a device that was manufactured on a good day and is operating under near ideal conditions as i told earlier in this example if you look at that nand gate example min max and typical right so this uh, typical means it will work it's uh, it is considered as a ideal condition in ideal condition it will work like that just explain it again the typical delay is what you see from a device that was manufactured on a good day and is operating under near ideal conditions okay is it uh, uh, you suppose uh, while we manufacturing a device it will have um, uh, it will satisfy all of your conditions right as the time go uh, go go on and on then it will uh, create some problem for example that tolerance they mean they will mention right 0.9 nanosecond plus plus or minus 0.001 nanosecond for example picosecond some tolerance they will mention so that will happen yeah but typical delay in the sense that look at that one near ideal conditions okay ideal conditions mean conditions are same for every element uh, every circuit no 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 yaar uh, still uh, what are